Hello YouTubers and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to another Lego movie set review. So we have here set 70803 and this is Cloud Cuckoo Palace like I said from the Lego movie theme. So this is for ages 7 to 14 it comes with a piece count of 197 and here in the UK this currently retails for £17.99 and that's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. Okay so let's take our first overview stroke look at this set. So this set comes with three minifigures and those three minifigures are Emmett Wild Style and Executron. The set also comes with two other figures, that's Uni Kitty and also a snail. Okay, so let's start off with those minifigures and the Uni Kitty and a snail. Let's take a closer look now. Okay, so starting off with Emmett, you can see there the front torso printing down into the legs, and this particular Emmett comes with pretty much all of these sets, certainly comes with uh, um, a lot of these sets, so obviously a very common minifigure. Moving around to the side shot there, you can see that piece of resistance on his back. Now down to looking at the rear shot of Emmett and this piece down here, this um, translucent um, red stud. So this is actually representing a tracking device which has been attached to poor old Emmett. Finally round to that other side shot there. And there we get to see now Emmett with that with a piece of resistance so we can see that uh, pretty basic back torso printing. And he does have a, come with a double sided printed face so there's obviously one shot. And looking at the other side of Emmett's face there so that is our review of Emmett complete. Okay, next up we have Wildstyle. I have to say, I really do love this minifigure. I just love the use of um, the colours they've used and the printing um, detail on the torso and the legs and the arms and obviously that hairpiece there. So there's obviously the front shot of Wildstyle. And moving around to her right side, so you can see that printing onto her right arm there and obviously across the front of her hairpiece. And moving around to the rear, you can see some of that rear torso printing and also the printing inside of that hood. So in this particular set, her hoodie is actually down. And finally round to the left-hand side of Wildstyle. And she comes with a double-sided face, so there's the first side. And round to the alternative side, which I must say isn't a great difference, just a little bit more of a smirk on that particular side of her face. So that's it for our review of Wildstyle. Okay, next up we have Executron. So we can see there that front torso printing. He's obviously hand, uh, sorry, holding a pair of handcuffs there. Um, and you can see that awesome printing to his head. Obviously using a silver headpiece for this particular minifigure. Round to the right side. Shot of the rear, we can see there's no rear printing at all. And the left side. And finally back round to the front and just to point out this minifigure just come with just the one single sided face which you can obviously see there. So that's our review of Executron complete. Okay guys, next up we have the snail. I guess things to point out on this are the eyes. These are printed pieces there. This is obviously a... Um, brick built um, snail so I'm just going to quickly spin this around and we can get to see what this looks like from each side and obviously the use of the antennas there okay so that is the snail okay finally from our figures we have uni kitty here again this is a brick built set but the cool thing again on this one is it's all printed pieces so there's the obviously front shot of the uni kitty put it round to the angle so you can see obviously there um, again the use of the bricks to um, make this and you can see it's obviously very thin just one stud um, in width a quick look at the rear of uni kitty and we can see that double sided print to the tail and back round to the front, so that's our quick review of Unikitty complete. 
Okay guys, next up is the flower catapult and this is used to fend off the Executron. Um, so it comes with two of these um, separate flower pieces here, one there. And we can see the other one at the moment is sat inside the catapult itself. So again, you can see it there. Um, if I just angle this over like that so you can get that shot of the top um, and how that's used or assembled rather, and round to the side view there, so catapult is simply used by um, obviously pushing down there on the front and that will obviously f shoot out one of the flowers, so let's just load up a flower in there in a second, you can see it just simply slots into place um, and then it is just a case of flicking that catapult and it will fly out, so I'll just come in and use my other finger and flick and obviously that flower has a shot out um, of the catapult. Okay, so very basic build there, but that is our catapult. Okay, finally the main kind of, um, I guess, part to this set is the actual cuckoo, or cloud cuckoo palace, I should say, itself. Um, great use of colours in this, I guess is probably the main thing. Very, very, very colourful. Not too many features going on here. We have this bright yellow sun piece here and that can be um, maneuvered. It's on this um, translucent, clear translucent arm piece here. Um, I guess the other function to point out are these pieces here. If I spin this round to the rear, you will see in there, there are some um, Technic pieces which connect all these up and if I turn that you can see those cogs there turning so now if I spin that round and show them what that looks like from the front when I turn that as you can see there those discs um, obviously spin around and if we look down now looking at this from the front down to the um, right hand kind of lower section to so that disc there again this disc also does spin um, but that's just manually like that. Again, you can spin it. So if I spin that round to the rear of that one, you can see it's not um, connected to anything as such. So it's just a case, simply a case of spinning the disc itself. Um, while we're kind of on this shot here, you can see again some use of these colour tiled pieces. I said, like I said at the beginning, some great use of colours in this. It is a very colourful set. Some kind of flower pieces. Um, there and obviously a blue one there um, if I tilt that forward um, we can see obviously that design up there as well um, great use of pieces here as well to make these one there and there is also that one there down at the bottom as well so there we go, that's my review of this set complete. So just to recap again, this is the Cloud Cuckoo Palace set 70803 from the Lego Movie range of sets. Okay then, so if you have enjoyed this video, please do go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead, press it now. Any comments, feedback, questions is always, always, always welcomed down in that comments section. Go ahead, leave comments, feedback, questions, do it now. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!